Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to answer the question, can a rhombus also be a parallelogram? So what we're going to do first, we're going to draw a rhombus, and then we'll look at if it fulfills the characteristics of a parallelogram. So a rhombus typically has the characteristics that all the sides are the same, and its opposite so angles are equal. And then we're going to talk about now the characteristics of a parallelogram. To be a parallelogram, you have to have two pairs of parallel lines. Now if you look at a rhombus, this side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to this side. So it does fulfill the criteria of having two pairs, opposite pairs of parallel lines. Now, the other characteristic of parallelograms is that its opposite angles have to be of equal measure. Now, if you look at a rhombus, this angle is equal to this angle, so you have one pair of opposite equal measures. And if you look at this angle and compare to this angle, I already mentioned that these two are also of equal measures. So you have a second pair of opposite equal measured angles. So because those two are the only criteria that of a parallelogram, a rhombus fits both of those criteria. As a matter of fact, a rhombus goes beyond that of what's needed for a parallelogram. So the short answer is yes, a rhombus is a parallelogram because it's in that family. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that answers the question of can a rhombus also be a parallelogram?